Hello, my name is Pierre Singer. I am the chairman of SPEN and I am the director of the General Intensive Care Department and the Institute for Nutrition Research at the Rabin Medical Center in Tel Aviv in Israel. Today I want to speak with you about the clinical consequences of energy deficit in intensive care. We know that energy, energy balance is the consequence of what is going in and what is going out. In critically ill patients, we know precisely that all what we are giving to the patient as nutrients or as dextrose or as propofol are the calories that are going in. To assess how much the patient is spending, we can evaluate that by measuring a resting energy expenditure or use some equations. The difference between the intake and the expenditure is called the energy balance. We have an energy balance that we can evaluate daily, but also weekly or during the whole ICU stay. According to the current knowledge, we don't know exactly how much calories to administer to ICU patients. However, from a lot of observational studies, we know that the less we are giving or the bigger the energy deficit, the larger the number of complications and therefore it is required not to, give, to let the patient in a too big negative balance. At the other hand, we know too that if we are giving too much energy, there will be complications and therefore we have to be as tight as possible when we give and energy support to our patients. The administration of this energy should be guided by measurements of energy expenditure using indirect calorimetry. This is today the best way to assess it and the TICA cost study recently published is demonstrating that it is possible to tie the energy administration to the measurement. It showed also that it may reduce mortality. However, there are still a lot of discussions when to start, how much to give, and how much protein to administer to these patients. In conclusion, we have to take into account the energy balance of our patients. For this, we have to assess precisely how much they are spending, how much they are receiving, and this parameter should be an important parameter in all the critically ill patients. Thank you.